The question is, is this the end of Instagram automation? Yo, what's going on guys? Thor here back with another video and in this video we're going to be taking a look at Instagram automation and what's really been happening the last couple of days because a lot of people have been reporting to me that they're getting one follow blocked on multiple different accounts that they're running with automation softwares and two they're getting like blocked also from running automation softwares and some even not running any softwares at all so Instagram seems to be going pretty hard really hitting people who are doing automation is this on purpose we don't know will this end automation that's the question let's dive into it so there are two theories about why this happened. Theory number one is that people think it's a bug because what's funny is that all of this seemed to happen to everyone at the exact same time. Like I got people who've got clients um, that they're running automation for and that it all happened to all of their clients at the exact same time where they're running different settings on each different client, which tends to be why somebody would get banned. It's because of the settings that you're running or about the uns uh, un uh, unsafety of the software that you're running but it happened to all of them at the same time so people are speculating that this is just a bug um, because it did happen to so many people um, at just the exact same date and time theory number two is that it's not a bug and that Instagram is doing this on purpose and just really trying to make something happen with this automation game because obviously it's not something that the Instagram platform likes. We've known this, um, they don't know, like that you're using automation so that's why you gotta be so careful when doing it and so yeah a lot of people also think that this was on purpose and they want to eliminate automation bots and uh, automation in general on Instagram forever. Now before we move on with the video we gotta step a step back because we gotta look at what really gets you banned with automation or gets you blocked normally with automation in general so when it comes to getting like blocked for example or follow blocked on Instagram you're doing something wrong you're basically running too aggressive settings which means that you're liking too many pictures in a short amount of time span or you're following too many people in a short amount of time span that's why you would normally get a block like this now this is not the first time this has happened in the last 30 days there was actually just about two weeks ago there was another um, sort of big thing happening like this where a lot of people got follow blocked and like blocked however Back then, and, and uh, from my sources, this seemed to happen to accounts that uh, were just running unsafe settings. The Instagram just did it to the, the ones that are running the most unsafe settings, so not everyone was affected, but this time, it happened to almost everyone. Now, I did post about this in my Facebook group, and I'm gonna read to you a couple of the comments because they're interesting and they've got interesting insight to add to this video. So I made a post asking people about their, their thoughts on this, what they've experienced, and Nick, for one, he said that, oh yeah, it's all across the board right now and he continued on uh, continued on saying he was automating over 600 accounts and early yesterday depending on a time zone there was a similar block around two weeks ago which hit all the noob automators but this one hit everyone don't get it twisted though, this isn't the end of automation, that's what he's saying. And then I continue on asking and he says exactly, this doomsday stuff happens every year and that's true, this actually does happen, uh, it happens a lot this time, it just seems to be bigger than ever. Um, like blocks, uh, password blocks, email lips, etc, etc, list goes on as he's saying, just have to wait and see what needs changing or updating or ideally, it's a mistake from Instagram which was one of the theories that we thought about and then he says just right now oh yeah it was the same time for everyone and they've updated their app two times the last 24 hours so something is up if it was the end of botting people would be getting slapped with a bounce instead of action blocks so I had a chat with my Instagram automation expert and uh, I want to play what he said to me guys because it makes a lot of sense and I think it's a really really good take on the entire situation so the way I see it is that Instagram tried to take a measure to reduce the amount of automation on the platform, but it also affected just the normal users as well. So I'm hearing about some people who aren't using automation and have tried to follow just one or two people or like just one or two pictures and have got have got the block almost instantly. Uh, I think that they are trying to take as many measures as they can to reduce it, but I don't think they want to eliminate it completely because I think it, it does help their platform. Uh, but that, then again, that's just the theory. But I do know for a fact that it's not only affecting people who are using automation if that makes sense of course it comes as no surprise that the majority of people who are experiencing the issue are getting blocked because they're using automation but what I am trying to say is that there are a small number of people who are complaining about you know just occasionally liking or following one person or one picture here and there and are still getting in trouble because of that and of course another important thing to note is that 
this is not your typical action block which lasts you know one to two days at most the majority of the time when people get an action block they assume it's going to take at most around around 24 hours and then it's going to be gone the interesting thing about this action block is that in the past it's been shown to take over at times more than two to, to three weeks even up to a month to clear and this is even when you've paused all actions on the account now the one thing that i would suggest is to anyone that's going through this issue right now to pause any automation pause any follow and follow action completely disconnect your account from any any systems any bots that are doing anything like that and rest the account don't even try to perform any actions for a good couple of weeks because performing any actions can can prolong the action block if that makes sense so at times any additional action that you make from there can prolong the block and the last thing to note would be to anyone who's been able to get the block uplifted from their account so anyone who's out of the block should ensure that if they are to start automation again to be very conservative with their settings between 200 to, to, to 350 follows and unfollows per day just to begin with and warm up the account on that even less at times if if your account has been uh, so prone to getting blocked in, in recent months for example then you might want to go even less to around to around 100 to 200 follows and unfollows per day for a week or two weeks and and slowly increase from there to ensure that it doesn't happen again because it does seem as though there's a possibility that these action blocks could continue to happen and if they if they continue to happen in the duration that they are then that could cause people problems in in actually progressing with the you know the overall the follow count on their account more people did comment like Bert, for example, who was using a follow and follow on five accounts, easy settings, no problems. I use a break of 10 hours at night. I didn't get any blocks on one of the account I was using more aggressive, uh, aggressive settings, a uh, shorter break and had a couple of blocks. So it still seems to be something regarding these settings that's been run. Now Yogi also commented and he said it's a game of cat and mouse. Every time IG pulls off something like this, people tend to stress out. This is not the end of automation, it's a passing phase and there's always a solution for these kinds of stuff. We just need to adapt. And that kind of brings me to the conclusion of the video, which I completely agree with. I don't think this is the end of automation. Automation. We've seen this multiple times in the past. It is a phase. It has passed and then yeah People just seem to be freaking out a bit more than I think they need to and and the fact that this happened to everyone at once I think it's something that Instagram I think it's possible that Instagram messed up that this wasn't supposed to happen because as Nick again said if it really was the end of automation people wouldn't be getting like blocked and uh, uh, and, and follow blocked they would rather have their accounts completely shut down so yeah that's pretty much that hopefully this video was helpful for you hopefully this makes you uh, calm your nerves <laughs> and uh, yeah if you enjoyed it smash that like button and I will see all of you beautiful people in the next video peace